So I'll, I'll array this, all this not needed, time being. Yeah. Come for this. So again, uh, what is our basic assumption? Th th this is equal to what? This is equal to sphere with cavity, sphere without cavity. No? Sphere with cavity, sphere without cavity. I'll go some, I'll show some resultant diagrams. This is equal to, meanwhile you try it, I'll adjust, adjust the thing. Sphere without cavity it is, yeah. plus there's a cavity. No, where is the point P? The point P is here, no? So the point P will come here and, and the point P in this diagram will come here. Let's mag. I'll, I'll magnify only this part. It'll be easy for you. Uh, now you can see things clearly. Uh, let's come for this. Uh, uh, what is our question? We have to find out the field. There, there's a cavity is there, and this is what cavity. Let's come for this. How the field, like a, this is a sphere without cavity. Let's get into the problem. How the field strength inside the cavity will be? Any formula? It should be towards center, no? It will be directed towards center. So therefore, I will bring a vector like this. This what? E1. Uh, any value of E1? E1 should be equal to G M1 R by R cube. W what is R? R is a position vector directed from P to O1. So I'll write P O1 bar. Uh, similarly, I want E2. E2, this is of negative density. If it were positive density, how, how E2, it, 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 it would have been like this. Huh? If it were positive density, the E2 would have been towards O2. Since it's of negative density, it should be away. So therefore, how this vector, this vector will be directed like this. There's the, the main trick of the problem, nothing to do, finish over. And what is the mass of this? M2. This M1, M2, little bit some problem, no? Again, we should substitute the value of M1. Can we bring this <coughs> in terms of density? We, we didn't have formula for density. How to bring everything in terms of density? If you, if you can work out in terms of density, it will be very crystal clear. How to express the gravitational field strength in terms of density? Of course, I'll, let me write this answer. So what is E2? E2 should be equal to GM2. What is the radius of this? R by 2 whole cube OP2. Why it should be away from the center? It's a negative density, no? Uh, we know mass M2, M1, all substituting will get the required answer. So what is the total field? The vector sum of these two. The resultant field at, at point P, what is E bar? That E bar should be equal to E1 bar plus E2 bar.
let's substitute m1 okay first, first i think okay we have m1 no? A anybody value of m1 m1 in terms of m 8m by 7 i think i M1 is 8M by 7, M2 is M by 7. <coughs> Where I am? Oh, yeah. So this values will be G. Okay, now, now we'll, we'll manage with what we know it. Huh? It'll be much easier. So this will be R cube by eight, and and what is the value of this? This will be m by seven. Put mod because already the direction I taken care by assuming this one, and this is O P two bar. So I think it's very easily what happened now. So this is equal to eight G m by seven R cube P O one bar. 8gm by 7r cube op2 bar what is the resultant field the vector sum of these two e1 bar plus e2 bar e1 bar plus e2 bar 8gm 7r cube will come outside p01 bar plus op2 bar is today Sir, O2 P bar. O2 P bar. What symbols are used? O2 P bar. Yeah, two, two, two will be here. So something uh, like a O1 P. So th 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 this what I got, no? This one. Okay, let's see that one. Uh, E1 bar, E2 bar. I shown it. So I'll, I'll bring all this in this diagram. I think everything is visible. So I'll, if you want, I'll magnify this part. Hmm? Okay, now see, uh, everything is made visible for you. Uh, let's show that EP1 bar, red color arrow, no? The red color arrow should be here. blue color arrow should be here but sir here you are shown one direction doesn't matter this will be uh, what should be the resultant vector the resultant vector will be directed like this any reason for that go for go for the triangle law according to triangle or what you are going to write o2 p bar plus p01 bar minus O1, O2 bar. So in place of P01 bar, P01 bar plus O2 P bar, what shall I write? O1, O2 bar. Sorry, O2, O1 bar. It is directed. Look at that direction. What is telling? It is along line joining the center of cavity to the center of the sphere. And what about magnitude? G, M, R, all their constant. So therefore, what is a net field? Will it be uniform? Yes, it will be uniform. And how, how it will be directed? Directed towards line joining the center of cavity to the center of the sphere. Uh, able to get the logic? So what is the field inside the cavity? It's a uniform. It's a totally and uniform one what we are getting. A anybody having doubt, please clarify because the, 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 the basic thing. So therefore, what is the conclusion now? So the field inside the cavity, is it uniform or non-uniform? Will be uniform and how it will be directed anywhere, not only at point P, at any arbitrary point inside the cavity to be directed toward the front. So let me show now a generalized diagram. Sir, ah. 
So why didn't we use negative density anywhere here, sir? That due to negative density only, I shown that E two no. If it was positive density, it would have been P O two. Due to negative density, it has come away. Okay, sir. Okay. Sir. Now, now, now I'll, I'll make it more generalized. You can see no. So this is the thing what we have brought it no. Yeah. All of you look at here. Uh, now, now what is the field? I, I say field is everywhere uniform. It will be directed on a line joining O one O two. If that is the case. I will remove all these things. Let let me show only the the field. So how the field everywhere inside the cavity. A uh, uniform field, the spacing between the lines should be equal. Now, what are these lines? They, they are the direction of gravitational field strength, and this is what the O two. And what is the magnitude of this? Just now we have calculated, and uh, how much it is? It was equal to eight gm seven r cube o two o one. And what is o two o one? Okay, let, let's we know the, the distance o two o one. How much it is r by two? Let's calculate that field. So how much of the field strength? Field inside the cavity. We'll, we'll calculate the magnitude. What is the formula? Eight gm by Seven R cube by the distance. What is the distance? O two O one. And what is O two O one is equal to R by two. Substitute this. Eight gm or four gm by seven R square. This is the magnitude. This is what field. Inside the cavity. Now there's one very good problem. And now I'll release a test mass somewhere here. What will happen to test mass? It will accelerate, no? It will accelerate. So let me release a test mass at point A. Then it will expense a force towards left, and it will come and strike at O one. So I, I'll ask you, what is the speed of the test mass when released at point A? With what speed it strike at point one? So I'll, let me put if a test mass m naught is released at point A, find the speed with which. It strikes. The point O one. Now this is nothing but acceleration. No, see what is E now? So forget about gravitational field strength. Call that as acceleration. So what is the acceleration? This E itself is nothing but acceleration. So four g m by seven r square. This nothing. This is acceleration. Then what is the speed with which it will strike? Two a. What is the distance it will cover? A O one. And what is A O one? Should be equal to R. Substitute this. Four G M. I'll go for next step. With what speed it will strike? Two into four G M seven R square into two R. So this will be. Four two j eight sixteen. There it is R. And there, there's only R, no. So the speed with which it will strike will be eight gm by seven R. What is the distance A one? A one should be R. Then what is the time it will take to reach there? So directly apply equations of motion. 
a o one should be equal to a t square by two. If t equals zero, it is relieved here. After some time, t it will come and strike here. I think so many numericals I can bring it here. No, I can I can suspend a pendulum. I can ask you your vertical circular motion problem here. Instead of g, what happens? You should take that e. That's all here. Instead of g, what happens? The a will come into picture, and now it will be directed along line joining the center of the cavity to center of the sphere. The, the this was the total discussion what we made. Means the cavity, I'll shift it somewhere. If I shift cavity somewhere, wherever you go, the field inside the cavity will be uniform, and it'll be directed along line joining the center of cavity to center of the sphere. And how much to calculate the field? This is the method. Okay, I get this. So these are the some application problems will be there in inside the cavity. <clears throat> Let, let let me give uh, like a same same numerical. I think in Erdo it is available as a density as given. Uh, I think you can easily manage if they give in terms of density. Uh, if if they give cavity, not only this, I'll I'll, I'll shift the cavity somewhere here, and that too not in contact. Let it be like this. 